I bought the cheapest and most expensive gadgets I can find. I'm gonna test them out to see which ones are actually useful, starting with the cheapest one, the motion-activated toilet nightlight. Have you guys ever woken up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, and you're so sleepy, you don't wanna turn on the lights, you wanna stay asleep, but that could result into you missing the toilet? This gadget will prevent that from happening, because I know it's happened to me a few times. Here we have the motion-activated nightlight on the toilet, and as you can see, it's not on because we have the lights on, but as as soon as you turn all the lights off, the nightlight turns on. And it changes colors, which is dope. I think this gadget is worth the $9.95, and now you never have to miss the toilet ever again. If you're like me, at least. Next up, we have the staple free stapler. I'm really interested to see if this works, because if it does work well, then you never have to buy staples ever again. We are gonna start with the two paper test, and we're gonna test the strength of it as well. Three, two, one. Okay, it actually stapled the papers together without any staples. I think what it did is that it took the papers and it like tied them together. That works. We are trying six papers now. That is clean and it works. Even as I'm going through the papers, the weight of it isn't ripping it or anything. The 20 paper test. Okay, so it barely fit, meaning there might be a limit. Here we go. Oh shoot. No way. Dude, if this actually works. Overall, I think this is a really dope product and for only $12, I think it's a hit. The reusable paper towel roll. Another $12 gadget and I'm super excited to see if it's worth it. Me too. It's called Bambooey and it says it includes 30 Bambooey sheets which replaces up to 429 paper towel rolls. Okay. You know how much money you could save with that? But if you think about it, you wash these in the wash machine, water costs money. Is it worth it? That's what we're here to find out. We have some red Gatorade on this beautiful <laughs> top right here that we need to hurry up before it stains. This feels so weird. You get one? Like, or should we yeah, do let's, two? Yeah, no, let's do one. Okay, let's. Let's do the one wipe test. I mean, if you're gonna put it in a washer machine, like, it has to be strong. Oh, yeah. Rip test? Like, you, you could? could? Rip it if you really tried. All right, let's see it. It actually stained. I wait, wait, will, will we actually be able to get that out? Don't worry, I'll do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> How did that feel compared to a regular paper towel? I feel like the regular paper towel is gonna be like dripping. This is pretty dry, so. Well, we have a regular paper towel roll right here. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, it actually stained. Let's wait. see that one. Definitely not reusable. This one, perfect condition. So we're gonna throw this in the washer and see if it removes everything. In the meantime, let's test some more gadgets. Finger chopsticks for gamers. This is the official snacking tool for gamers and it was seen on Shark Tank. Install your upgrade, grab a snack and shove it in your face. Multitask, repeat and enjoy. So they're pretty much chopsticks for your fingers. This can be a game changer. <laughs> Low key when I saw the price, $15, I was like, man, that's kind of pricey for something like this. But if it actually works really well, it definitely might be worth it. So you just slide it on your fingers like this. Oh my God. Yo. So as you can see, if you're playing mouse and keyboard, it doesn't affect the way you play at all. It rests nicely on your mouse. It feels completely normal. I am going stupid right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I just died. All this gaming's got me hungry. Yo! Best gadget I've ever tried in my entire life. Chamoy on hot Cheetos. This definitely stains your fingers big time. All right, here we go. We're going in for the Chamoy hot Cheetos now. That was my fault. It wasn't the gadget. All in all, guys, this is a hit. Definitely my favorite gadget so far. The apple peeler. I'm really excited for this one. Me too. Do you want to do the honors? Okay. Wait, dude, dude. <laughs> dude, he wants an apple. Okay, when we peel it, we'll give you an apple slice, okay? Deal? Give me five. Sit. Shake. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. You see that? I taught her well. This is actually sick, so I think you just puncture it through Stick here. Stick it through the core. Like that. Perfect. The cool thing about this is that it has suction cups under it, so it can be very sturdy. Okay, let's Wait, see. Wait, did I say sturdy? Here we go, here we go, here we go. <gasps> Yo, no way. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Give a little low bite. Apple Lola, sit, shake. Uh, oh, oh, you're halfway there. Shake. Good girl, now up, up. 
Oh my god, they baked the apple, bro. All in all, I think this is a hit for sure. But like, what's the point? Usually when you bite into an apple, that's it. Some people might not like the outside of the apple. So we were still arguing off camera about the whole apple thing. So we're gonna see if it works with an orange, which would be more useful to take off the peel. I don't know, I mean, it's called an apple peeler, so we'll see if it works with an orange. Oh, oh, but it's breaking, it's breaking, oh. it's breaking. No, it started well. This would have been a hit for an orange. We don't give up on the Phase Rug channel. Okay, <laughs> we might have to for this one. Okay, it doesn't work with an orange, but I still think it's a hit. Thank you, let's move on. Next gadget. All right, it's been about 30 minutes since we threw the bamboo paper towel in the washer, so let's see how it looks. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So let's see the durability after it being washed. It said you can wash it up to how many times? 100. 100 times before you can't use it again. It feels as strong as it was. No red stain. I like that. But you do have a point where you said like you'd waste water, laundry detergent. Time. That might sum up to the same amount of just buying another paper towel roll. But I do like what they're doing. It's good for the environment. You're wasting less paper. They're doing what Mr. Beast did where if you buy a paper towel roll, you plant a tree. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a hit. I think so too, honestly. Fire color changing packets. This is supposed to create colorful flames. Right now, it's purple and orange for the suns. You're supposed to just toss these packets in there. You don't open them or anything. You just toss them in. Three, two, one. Wait for it. Wait, you see blue at the bottom? Oh, oh. it's green. No way. Oh. This one didn't make it, Dad. No, let's, careful, careful. Let's see what color is that. So we got green. Wait for it to melt. Wow, this is That's bad. insane. Now, what happens if we put all of them in there? <laughs> It's gonna be dark green. I think it's only green, <laughs> but that's still so sick. Give us a crazy color. Oh, wow. okay, there okay, we go, okay, there we okay, go. Okay. Definitely a cool way to impress your friends if you're at like a bonfire or something, so I think it's a hit. The self-stirring coffee mug. This is the self-stirring mug, if you can't tell by the branding, they have it on the mug. I personally am not a fan of that. Me either. But if it works, I mean, you never have to grab a spoon and, you know, stir up your Whoa, coffee. Oh, because it's so hard. What's with the hater energy <laughs> I just wanna know. No, it's a cool gadget, but like, let's be real, it's not hard to steer your coffee. Now my question is, when you fill up coffee and creamer, will it spill when it stirs? Let's find out. I've been seeing all over TikTok, people put this in Dr. Pepper and they say it tastes good. Dr. Pepper or Diet Dr. Pepper? Diet Dr. Pepper. And it actually looked fire. We got the cup of joe, we got the creamer. So we have the lid, but we're gonna try it without the lid first. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's something I would actually use. Yeah, it is. And it comes with a nice little lid. God, dude, like, I'm actually dumb. I don't think we've had any misses in this video. No. I am definitely gonna use this, and it would be an everyday use for me. What about you? I wouldn't use that. Here we go. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I know. But if I had it in preference. my house, like maybe. Next cool, gadget. Cool, cool. <laughs> Next gadget. Crunch cup cereal. I'm a cereal fanatic. I eat cereal every single day, and this is made to eat cereal on the go. Like, if you're late for school and you wanna eat a bowl of cereal, you can do it through this. Okay, I'd love to see how this works. As you can see, it has like a big hole here and a small one there. When you drink it, it evenly dispenses the right amount of cereal and the right amount of milk. Okay. Take it apart like that, and this right here is... Okay, what's going on? This is where you put the cereal. I'm already not a fan of this because of like the small that's, portion. Yeah, it's so little. That's like two sips for me. I think that should be good. Yeah, that's like, I would say three bites. That's for like a toddler. Secure it, then we pour some milk. I would say like not that much, right? We don't have a lot of cereal. Yeah. And guys, I don't know if you agree with me, but Fruit Loops is a top three cereal of all time. If you agree with me, like the video. And Raisin Bran. People make fun of me for Raisin Bran. Oh yeah, I'll give you that. Raisin Bran is pretty good. Here we go. Do I have to like open my mouth like? <laughs> Isn't that just where the cereal is gonna come out to you, so? Yeah, but if I just do this, it's gonna hit my nose. Yeah, I, I think know. you have to open your mouth pretty wide for this. <laughs> okay. I got way more milk than cereal. Like, a lot more. Take number two. <laughs> mm. Better? Mm hmm Definitely, like, a big choking hazard. Yeah. I mean, it's a really cool concept. I think this one's a miss for me. I would have to say so. You almost choked. That was better. Okay. If you do a little by little, it was better. Okay. Still something I won't use. Yeah. The infamous drop stop. So this was another gadget seen on Shark Tank and I think they actually bought it as well. This is called the drop stop and I know we all hate when our phones fall through the cracks while you're driving. It's just a pain to get it out. For example, for example, 
For example, oh no, my phone. No, for real, like, I know you all hate, like, reaching back. It's a little bit dangerous. So, this is what the drop stop is used for. Put it over the seat belt right there. Dude, I'm actually gonna use this 100%. Yeah, this is something you would use. So now, no matter what, your phone will never drop between the cracks. I think that's a hit. Definitely. I would use this, and I'm still gonna keep this in my car. The banana loca. I know I've been saying this throughout the whole video, but I think this right here is gonna be the coolest one. Yeah, I kind of agree. This is the banana loca. What this gadget does is it actually fills your banana with anything you want. Peanut butter, Nutella, jam, anything you want. Whoa. That was sarcastic. No. Okay. <laughs> first things first, you're gonna cut the bottom of the banana. Okay. So next you place the banana in this holder, make it straight. So you stick this through the banana, just like that. Lock it. So now you pull it out and you're pulling the center of the banana out. So it has room to fill. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Whoa. What the heck? That's so weird. So now your banana should look like this and it's ready for the filling. Next up, you're gonna put a few tablespoons of your choice of filling. Oh my God, bro. We're gonna push it a little bit until you see some come out. Oh, there you go. Okay, you wanna do the honors? Yes. Shove the banana in there. Okay. <laughs> What the? Okay, okay, yo. Please fill my banana. Okay. So as I'm pushing down, <laughs> why did I say that? Please. Okay. As you're pushing it down, you're supposed to pull the banana off with it. You'll fill it out and. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got your filled banana. Hold up. Should we cut it and see if it's filled? Of course. Ready, ready. Only half of it's filled. What? You didn't put enough. Hey, but I will say this. These would hit if they were frozen. Oh yeah. Ready, ready. Oh! How was your filled banana? Insane. Hmm. Overall, I think this gadget is super sick. Yeah. But if we're talking usefulness wise, I personally would just dip the banana in Nutella and just bite it. I think it was just a little bit extra, but it is cool to share with your friends. But like I said, if you like frozen bananas, this would be amazing and I would use that for that. I would still consider this a hit. Yeah, definitely. An automatic soap dispenser. I have always wanted an automatic soap dispenser and this one is sick. So I easily mounted it to the wall. It came with something like this. All you do is just attach the back, just like that. We're gonna turn it on, hold the power button. It's on. So on the screen, it'll show the temperature of the house, 77 degrees. The cool thing about this is that you actually charge it. No batteries, no wires, just straight up charge. Now you can either put regular soap in there or you can make foam soap. And I'm a foam soap kind of guy, so we're gonna try that. So we're gonna mix it in this cup first and then pour it in the dispenser to see if it works. Set three ounces of soap, which is a lot. I really need this to work. Here we go. We'll throw it back on the wall. It might take a second to ease into it, but let's try it out. No. Yes, sir! It works, dude. This is easily my favorite gadget of the video right now. I love you. 64 hole Gatlin bubble gun. So this is the 64 hole Gatlin bubble gun, AKA the thunder gun from Kino Der Toten. You wouldn't know. No idea. Tell me this doesn't look like the thunder gun from zombies. Come on, $30, we dip it right here. All right, you ready? Yo! Actually cool. For 30 bucks. And for a kid, they'd lose their mind over this. They would go crazy. This would have been a good Christmas gift, but oh. hey, there's always next year. You know who actually likes bubbles? Booker. Booker. All right, let's bring him in. Bubbles! Get the bubbles! Get the bubbles! Oh, he's going crazy. Go crazy. <laughs> a doorstep for car roof. This gadget right here was also seen on Shark Tank and I'm really excited to try this. This is for when you wanna tie like a boat or- Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Whatever it is to the top of your car, but it might be hard to reach over and do it by standing on the floor. So they invented this thing where you actually hook it right here. And this right here is like padding so it won't scratch oh. your paint or anything. It's supposed to lift up your weight. You wanna try it? Okay. Oh my God, this is scary. Is it for like one step? Oh, yeah. It's cool, right? Yeah, I could easily tie something on top of my car now. That's so cool. Well, some people would argue like they could do it like this. Yeah, but I was able to get further. Yeah, what if you're like 410 though? Oh yeah, dude. I think this is a hit. This is definitely something I'd use if I tied something on my car, which I never do. That's a success. I think that's a hit. Automatic dog feeder with voice control. 
This right here is if you have a dog or a cat. It's perfect because it's an automatic pet feeder. So if you're not home, you could set times of when it could dispense food. You could set the portion and my favorite part, you could actually record your voice so you could tell your pet to come eat. Can I set my voice? Of course. Because she likes me more, you know? Right. Ready? Lola, come eat your food. Come get your food, baby. It's right here. Follow my voice. Hey, yes, sir. And that's all controlled also from an app. So if you're not home, you can manually feed your dog or cat. All right, let's see. Let's hear my voice. One small portion really quick. Lola, come eat your food. Come get your food, baby. It's right here. Follow my voice. Yes, sir, that's actually sick. She did kind of get freaked out for a second. She's like trying to figure out what it is. She has to get used to it, and I think the voice thing comes in handy when you're not home so that they know to come get their food. I think that's a hit. I love this. Good girl, good girl. The portable electric juicer. This is an electric juicer, and I think this is very convenient because it's USB charged. Okay. You could take it on the go for like camping or something. And yeah, you could pretty much juice anything. We have oranges here to make some orange juice. Okay, let's try it. You just place it right here. Put the lid on. We got it on lock. Oh, oh, oh. Go. wow. And it's coming back down on its own. Yeah, that's a lot of juice. Okay, this is just from one half. Here, that's for you. Oh. Because you're wearing orange. Fresh. Uh. Oh, whoa, look at this. It took it all, bro. Yo. That's no. what I said. There's a lot of juice for just half of the orange. Now, this is definitely worth being as expensive as it is. And it's not too, too pricey. It's $70. But, I mean, come on. Fresh orange juice and fresh anything you want. 